This tutorial video has been prepared in order to explain the process of charging the nitrogen precharge pressure of a diaphragm accumulator. For important safety information, please refer to our tutorial video on the charging process for bladder type accumulators, as the hazards and risks are identical for this type of product. Diaphragm accumulators are steel pressure vessels which use a diaphragm to separate the system's hydraulic fluid and the nitrogen gas. The fluid port closes with a plastic or metallic poppet in the diaphragm. If inflating a fully discharged diaphragm accumulator, you can ensure that this poppet is centralised by guiding the poppet with an appropriate tool such as a hex key. The HIDAC FPU1 Universal Charging and Testing Unit can be fitted directly to HIDAC diaphragm and piston accumulators. The accumulator gas valve will be opened and resealed by operating a hex key in a socket head cap screw. And during the charging process, it will be operated by the main spindle of the charge head. Use only the correct equipment, that is the universal charging and testing unit, and follow this process. Remove the plastic protective cap. Use a hex key to break the torque on the sealing screw. Close the sealing screw lightly so that it may be operated by the charging head spindle. Before fitting the universal charging and testing unit to the gas valve, first ensure that the surfaces are clean and the sealing o-ring has been correctly fitted. Align the spring loaded hex drive to the screw and fit the unit to the accumulator gas valve hand tight. Ensure that the gas release valve on the side of the charge head has been closed firmly. It closes clockwise like a tap. Before connecting a nitrogen regulator to a nitrogen bottle, ensure that the regulator will be closed by backing the pressure setting down, winding the adjustment counterclockwise. Make sure that the threads and seats are clean and connect the nitrogen regulator to a bottle of industrial grade nitrogen. Connect the hose in between the regulator and the universal charging and testing unit. Open the isolation valve on the gas bottle. Slowly turn the main spindle of the charge head counterclockwise about three turns. Begin the gas flow from the bottle to the accumulator by slowly raising the pressure at the regulator. When shipped, the majority of HIDAC diaphragm accumulators are charged to two bar. At this pressure, the diaphragm is inflated and is in contact with the inside of the shell, and there is little chance of damaging or deforming the diaphragm. The rate of nitrogen flow may be increased only once the diaphragm has been properly inflated. Raise the gas pressure in the vessel to the desired pre-charge pressure. It is best practice to charge the vessel to a slightly higher pressure than which is required. Allow the vessel to cool and then slowly depressurize to the final setting. Once charged, stop the flow of gas by backing off the nitrogen regulator fully. Small pressure changes may occur in the accumulator assembly with thermal exchange. Once the pre-charge pressure is at the desired level, you can begin disconnection by winding the main spindle of the charge head clockwise to close the gas valve. Release the gas from the charge head and hose by opening the gas release valve in a counterclockwise direction. Once depressurized, you can remove the charge head from the accumulator gas valve. Retorque the gas sealing screw to 20 newton meters. Use a leak detection fluid to ensure that there is no gas escaping from the accumulator. Replace the plastic protective cap. Close the main isolation valve on the nitrogen bottle. Vent the remaining gas out of the regulator by adjusting the pressure of the regulator up. You can now remove the hose from the regulator and optionally remove the regulator from the nitrogen bottle. We recommend that the gas precharge pressure is rechecked the following week. If there is no gas loss observed, check again after four months. Again, 
If there are no losses observed, a six monthly inspection cycle should be sufficient. HIDAC hosts regular training courses on hydraulic accumulator technology and many other topics in Melbourne, Australia. For more information, please visit our website, hydac.com.au.